The Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation released a new report out of the COVID-19 pandemic saying that Michigan and the rest of the country will likely see a shortage of hospital beds and that outbreak will reach its highest point in the second week of April. A medical expert talked with News 8's John Dommel about the accuracy of that data. That new report says that even if we continue to social distance until the end point of May, that demand for hospital services will still exceed capacity. All they can do is take the data that's available. And that is the trouble, is that the data is very suspect and very limited. The Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation expects Michigan to have slightly less than half of the more than 20,000 hospital beds it will need for upcoming COVID-19 patients. And it doesn't expect the virus to enter a downward trend on any curve until around April 10th in our state. That's an issue. We're actively working on how would we take care of patients who are sick, but not sick enough to require uh, the all-in kind of intensive care unit. In the first three to five days of infection, people start to have an immunologic response and their bodies begin to resist. In the first week, people appear to be getting immune to this. So that's the good part, is that most people who get this get better, they are immune, they cannot uh, any longer transmit the virus. And locally, West Michigan's far from becoming a hot spot like Detroit. Right now, we are in good shape in Kent County. We have plenty of hospital beds, uh, plenty of ICU beds, plenty of ventilators. The doctor says that in about two weeks time, that's when we'll see if our efforts to social distance materializes in any meaningful way. Reporting in Grand Rapids, John Dommel, News 8.